Hello, my name's Audrey Maskerenis, and I'm President and CEO of Questor Technology. Today, I want to share with you the attainable path to net zero. We know that one of the two most important ways that we can stop the temperature rise is to not put methane into the atmosphere and look for opportunities around energy efficiency. All the other things on this graph don't have as much impact as not putting methane into the atmosphere. So the rest of this presentation, I'm going to talk about the opportunities to mitigate the methane, but in addition, show how we can demonstrate with data that we have reduced the emissions. Questor has proven patented technology that allows us to take any waste gas stream and ensure that the entire stream is combusted at 99.99% efficiency. We are one of the first companies in the world to have achieved ISO 14034 verification on our combustion efficiency. And this is an ISO standard for environmental technology. In addition, the Solar Impulse Foundation has chosen us as one of the thousand solutions that could sustainably make an impact on climate change right now. So it's proven and it makes business sense. The first picture I wanna show you here is our clean combustion technology supporting a pipeline blowdown. This stream is normally vented in its entirety. And as a result, by venting 100% of this methane at about 5 million standard cubic feet a day, we're releasing 8,200 tons of CO2 equivalent every day. By cleanly combusting it, we reduce the CO2 equivalent to 260 tons. In other words, we've reduced greenhouse gas emissions 97% or, or 79,000 tons a day. More importantly, we're able to do it at a cost of less than 10 cents a ton of CO2 equivalent. Now, in these numbers, I've assumed the methane global warming potential over 20 years, which is 86 tons, 86 times worse than CO2. The next slide shows that it is possible for us to design sites to be zero flaring and venting, and as a result, be zero methane emissions. In this picture, you see a large compressor station, and the large unit that's on the left-hand side has been designed to not only to produce and eliminate the routine process emissions, but it has also been designed to account for non-routine upsets and accommodate a maintenance schedule. And all of the equipment on this site needs to be maintained, whether it's pipelines or engines. We have this opportunity to mitigate methane at well pad sites. And the picture you see here is a 44 well pad site in Colorado. The unit circled in yellow is our temporary unit it's a rental unit that is making sure that the fracking operation has zero emissions. And then the units circled in blue are there for production operations. And once again, ensure that this entire path site has zero methane and zero harmful pollutants. What's important in, in this picture is we've managed to reduce the lease size by 30% reduce the capital costs at this pad site by 25%. And because the regulator in Colorado has recognized our high performance and efficiency, it allowed our client to increase their oil production 400 barrels a day because they fell well below the limits for VOCs at this site because they were using us with our high efficiency. Because you can see from those pictures that we generate an enormous amount of heat, there is an opportunity because we're an enclosed system to take a slipstream of that gas and use it to generate clean zero emission power through an organic Rankine cycle. 
So in this picture, we're taking the slipstream and generating 200 kilowatts of clean power to run the entire site. The advantage of using an organic Rankine cycle to generate power from waste heat, it's zero emission, the footprint is small, we're not dependent on wind or the sun, and in, more importantly, we're available 24 seven and our battery is very simple. It's a hot water tank. The other opportunity to deal with the waste heat we generate from clean combustion of methane is to use it to treat water. And so what you're seeing there is us cross-flowing our flue gas with produced water to ensure that the water A stays in the ecosystem, but that it is clean. To give you an idea of the business case, for Questor's technology, this is a simple flare that is around 300 MCF a day, a very typical flare in Canada. For this discussion, I'm going to assume that it's 95% efficient. By cleanly combusting it at our high efficiency using Questor's technology, we're able to reduce greenhouse gas emissions 2,200 tons a year. By using that waste heat and generating 200 kilowatts of power for the site, we further reduce the greenhouse gas emissions 1,000 tons a year. But because power has a value, and for this discussion, I'm gonna assume it's worth eight cents a kilowatt hour, it generates a revenue of 140,000 a year by either replacing power generation on site or pulling power off the grid. Assuming a 10 year project life, the capital for this project was around a million. The revenue over that 10 year period was 1.4 million. And we reduced greenhouse gas emissions, 32,000 tons over that period at a cost of zero to negative $13 a ton. Recognizing that these carbon emissions would reduce the liability on a corporate balance sheet. And let's say that cost of carbon is $50 a ton. That's a further $1.6 million of reduction in a liability, which means that investment at this site generated 100% return on capital and reduce, significantly reduced the cost of carbon. Finally, a we're able to take all of this data using drones uh, and satellites, determine our emissions for the entire site, deploy technology, and prove that the site is zero emissions using data. That creates an opportunity for us to generate a carbon NFT on a blockchain platform leaving it available to trade credibly internationally. Now, I started the talk indicating that I was going to talk about an attainable path to net zero. I've talked about the pieces. So, of course, the first part is clean combustion of the waste stream and ensuring zero methane goes into the atmosphere. Then, by using the heat wisely to generate power, we further reduce the emissions. And we get a significant benefit because methane is so much worse than CO2, has an impact in the early first 12 years that it is released. It eventually turns to CO2, but in those first 12 years, it gives us considerable benefit in, in terms of our climate change challenges. Because we're a closed system and because we're highly efficient, coming off the top of our stack is nitrogen, water and CO2. By continuing to cool it, we can condense the water and we can separate carbon dioxide and nitrogen with membrane technology quite easily, which leaves us a clear opportunity to take that CO2 and capture it and find a different use for it. This is a very, very cost-effective way to not only reduce methane, but reduce CO2 and help our world get to net zero.
I've talked a lot about it from a climate change and air quality point of view, but these days it's also important to be a good neighbor and making sure that we're not putting harmful pollutants into the atmosphere creates a great opportunity to create the social license. So cover off the S in the ESG requirements. So finally, Questor has been around for over 25 years providing clean combustion solutions. We're recognized globally and we see a nice cost-effective easy path to get to net zero. Thank you.